All right. Uh, Aloha. I'm proposing to launch High Sprout, a Hawaii based incubator for exploring exponential efficiencies in responsible food production. Uh, the conversation about food security in Hawaii is not a new one, um, but it's also not unique to Hawaii. Uh, the United Nations states that over 25% of the world's population has uh, moderate or severe food insecurity. Because of the reliance on the global uh, supply chains, economic slowdowns can make all of this worse and disproportionately affect people where there's more inequality. It's estimated, sorry, black on the slide. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's estimated that we import 85 to 90 percent of the food that we consume here in Hawaii and that we only have about 10 days of food of fresh produce if we were to be cut off. This puts Kamaina at risk of food shortages in scenarios such as natural disasters, wars, pandemics, and economic, economic slowdowns. However, as innovators, we explore problems to find opportunities. In Hawaii, we spend over $3.5 billion on food annually. And based on research, I view that there are two direct opportunities here. One is to localize the supply chain to increase food security, and the second is to keep more money in the island. To address these opportunities, I propose seeking exponential efficiencies in responsible food production so that we can make local production commercially viable and ultimately bring an abundance of nutritious food the people who live here. As we explored in Kamaka Inana, it's important, important to honor the lineage of how we got here. My parents empowered me to launch initiatives and organizations. My professors at MIT coached me in systems thinking, innovation, and entrepreneurship. I launched a biopharmaceutical company in 2014 to use new technologies, practices, and business models. And my teammates and coaches in college helped me appreciate nutritious food and using that as preventative medicine. And today, peers and Kumu and Kamaka and Nana have exposed me to an indigenous mindset. For the last six months, I've shifted my efforts from looking at, uh, looking at responsive, response reactive medicine to looking at more proactive medicine and looking more towards food production. And thus, my burning questions are, can we combine indigenous and modern food production practices, technologies, and mindsets to discover exponential efficiencies in responsible food production? And second, can we do this first in Hawaii and then share uh, those innovations with the rest of the world? To, to enable entrepreneurs on island to explore, test, and combine innovation. and be able to enable those folks to actually apply those uh, modern and indigenous innovations in the real world. So far, the current idea has arisen from a numerous conversations with farmers, industry organizations, research centers, investors, and accelerators. And since November, I've been getting my hands dirty, uh, working on the farm of the fearless monkey, as well as launching uh, my own mini farm in my backyard. Through Kamaki Nana, I soft launched a web page to start the conversation, and I've been fortunate enough to have been offered a $25,000 investment to launch this initiative. It's early days and there's still much work to do. To move this forward, I intend to continue to build uh, relationships across the industry to better understand the food system and to secure additional capital to build the team and have the time to dedicate. Given COVID-19, everything is dynamic. And so I'm simply asking everyone here for aloha and to open your hearts, minds, and networks to High Sprout. Mahalo. <laughs>